Lori here. Today we're going to make a centerpiece for Christmas and we're going to do it so that you can use one of these hurricane or some other type glass with the candle in it. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be using a uh, 14 inch wreath form and this one is actually um, a lot like the This one is actually a lot like the work wreath forms. So it's exactly the same. It kind of has this angled up. It kind of is angled up. And I really want to use that as opposed to, now these are the ones I use a lot. This is the Dollar Tree. Do you see how this one is more flat on the top and this one actually kind of goes up at an angle? So I want to do that so that it will go up like this more. I have this really cute snowball mesh and we're going to use that. And we're going to do the pull through method because I just think it's really cute and fun for <clears throat> a project like this. So the way I'll get started is I will take my mesh and I will pull it in just like that. I'm going to tie it underneath and just run my zip tie right in between on a crossbar just because it's it's a better thing to tie on to. tied it underneath is because I want to be able to put my mesh, pull my mesh up in between and you really need it to be underneath to do that. So I will take my mesh and I will pull one in between four and three and one in between three and two. I'll just pull it up like this until it is all the way up and even. And then I'll just pull it over. And it makes like a ruffle. And as you can see, I have it so that the pretty side is actually sticking out like this. So I flipped my mesh upside down so that when I pulled it up, it would have the pretty side because I want the snowball effect to be on the outside. So I will just keep pulling this until I have enough in this section to keep it pretty tight like this, just like that. Now on this bottom level, it's going to seem like you're using a lot of mesh, and you are on the bottom. But then as you go along, you'll need less, especially when you get to this top layer. So I just keep pulling it through until it's pretty tight in there. And then I just go on to the next section by just pulling right over. You don't have to cut or tie or anything. So just pull it. You can end up with a little loop like this in the bottom. Just kind of push it through. Anytime you have anything like that, you can just push it right through. Okay, so now I just do the same thing. Pull them together like this and just push it over. Just like this. Okay. There we go. This is a really easy project and I just think this is such a pretty mesh. Okay, so I will keep going all the way around the bottom, and then when I come back, I'll show you what we're going to do next. So I'll be back. Okay, I've gotten the first row on. This is what it looks like from the back. So, like I said, anytime you have these little things that are sticking out, just push them in. 
they'll go in just fine because you want this to be flat. Now, of course, you could make this as a wreath too because this is what it is. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. I mean, this is a wreath form. So you could do a centerpiece like I'm going to, or you could do a wreath. So now on the second layer, I'm going to do the same thing. So, so I'm going to open this up. I'm going to do the exact same process. I'm just going to take a zip tie. I'm going to put my mesh upside down like this. I'm going to tie it to the wreath base from underneath. So just pinch it together. I'm going to tie it in about the same place. I like to use crossbars just because it helps hold them in place so nothing will move. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to flip this back over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to put one side of the mesh in between two and three and one side in between one and two. Like that. So we're going to be going back into one we already have some mesh in. This is the exact same way that you do if you're doing burlap with the pull through method. It's the exact same process. So if you wanted to do this with burlap, you would do the exact same thing. Shelf liner, same thing. Okay, it's going to take a lot less on this top part because you already have mesh in this bottom and it's really going to prevent you from putting a lot in there. So that's why when you do it on the bottom, it seems like you're using a lot of mesh. As a matter of fact, I use an entire roll. But then when you get to the top, you're not going to use as much. Whoop. I think I got that turned around. Yep, okay. So you want to make sure that you're putting it in so if you were using this kind of mesh so that the snowball is on the outside. Okay. Here we go. All right. So you just do the same thing. Pull up, put the two ends together and pull up, and then just push over. So pull up, push over. I'm just going to do the same thing around the top. Now I shouldn't have to use an entire roll on the top. It is a little bit more difficult when you get to this second row because the mesh likes to kind of stick together. But just keep working at it. It's worth it. It looks really cute. You see how cute that looks right there? Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've come to the end and I just wanted to show you. I'll just cut the mesh off. Go back around and just pull the rest through. Like this. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll go back around to the bottom. I'll take a zip tie and I will just tie, run my zip tie right through the mesh for that last little bit and just tie it around the frame. Just to make sure it's not going to come loose. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you put your piece in the middle. Like that. So now that I've gotten this part done, see isn't that pretty? And you know you could really do this with any wreath. If you have a wreath that you really like, you know you can just get yourself a hurricane glass and put it in the center and it just looks so pretty. It looks really pretty, especially with this mesh when you put a candle in it and light it up. 
So now that we've gotten this part done, put this extra mesh away. I always save my mesh. Now there are a lot of things that you can do for a centerpiece like this. You can add in, let's see, I've got several things here. So what I want to do is, okay, so now I'm going to do a bow to go around this hurricane glass. I love this. Isn't this pretty? It has almost like a snow line around it. I thought that was really pretty. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pretty ribbon that has this awesome, almost like snowflake edge, and I'm going to measure around to see how much I want to go around my hurricane glass. About right here. I'm going to cut off just a little bit more because I want to make sure that I will have enough. Okay, now I want to make a tail, oh, about 11 inches. Yeah. So I'm just going to pinch it like that. Then I'm going to make a loop. Make it look like this, about four inches. So that's my first loop right there. Okay. I'm going to make a second loop. Pinch it in the back. I want to make sure that I have all of my edges lined up like this so that when I put my pipe cleaner through it's going to get everything and then I'm going to twist the back piece right here and go up so I'm going to have three pieces in my bow like this and then I will cut another tail same length just like that okay now I'm just going to take one of my pipe cleaners, I'm going to run it through the middle of everything. I want to make sure that I have everything in that pipe cleaner. So I'll take a second just to make sure it's all in there. Yep, and then I'll just tie it off. There we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it at an angle. There we go. Just like that. Then what we're going to do is take this and go around our hurricane glass and we're going to tie this on it. So we'll bring our centerpiece back and get started on that. Okay, so when I want to do something like this and put the ribbon around, I don't want it to be permanent, so I certainly don't want to use glue, I mean hot glue. I will use this product called Glue Dots. It's really great. So. They're just like, you know how when you get a package and there's this little sticky stuff on the back? It's kind of the same thing. So I'll just take a few glue dots, turn my ribbon over, put it down on my ribbon, make sure it sticks there. Okay. Or you can put it on the glass. Might be easier to come off on the glass. Okay. You just want to kind of push it in and then you can pull your. Hmm. Well, I'm having trouble with this today. 
<laughs> okay, there we go. All it does is help keep the ribbon in place. And then you can reuse your glass without having a problem. Okay, so you just put it right on the glass. There we go. Push it down on there. Make sure it's on there securely. And then when I come back around, what I'll do is I will put this other end behind this pipe cleaner. And then do the same thing with this ribbon. So, I'll just run my pipe cleaner right behind here. And just tie this piece in the back. I'm sorry, I know it's hard to see what I'm doing. It's just so tight over here. Okay, there we go. All right, so now, once I get everything in place, then I will just rearrange my bow. Now I'll have to come back and put a few glue dots on there, but I want you to see how I do that. And then you can just cut off the pipe cleaner there we go. All right. There we go. I just like to have a little bow on there. Now, now that we have that part done, okay, <laughs> my candle. So I have bought several different things that I thought would look really cute. Uh, one thing that I will do, you see how there's a little gap right here? One thing that I will do is I will take some really cute ornaments. See now these are ornaments that were left over from when I did the candy cane and I will place them right around on the base and just cover any little gaps that are around the base. Just like that. It just makes a cute little addition and it covers your gaps. So I like to do that. Let's put one, put one right there. There we go. Now, there are several things you can do. If you want to make this, <coughs> excuse me, if you want to make it permanent, you could glue these little pieces on right to your mesh. Now, I don't want to do that because I want to change them out if I feel like changing them out later on in the year. I mean, the next season. Because I might find something I like really cute. A lot of times when I do these center pieces, if I'm do things, doing them for myself, I will not tie things down permanently because I want to be able to change them out. So it is perfectly fine to do that as well. I will tie them on to the base when I need to. But a lot of times I will just stick things through and have them just kind of standing up like this. So I love these. Aren't these so cute? So I'll just pull these off and I will just stick them around. Kind of putting it in between the mesh down to the base. Like this. I love to get picks like this where there are two or three things and then I'll just pull them apart and place them around in different places. Okay, like that. Okay. 
I really like this. This is so cute. Uh, some other things I have that I thought were really cute. I got these. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I think I got these at Carolina Pottery. But this is the same thing. So it's a big pick and it has several different pieces in it. So I will just pull some pieces off like this. kind of twist it at the bottom like this and then stick it down in there and all I do is I will go back and just kind of tie them around the little base to make sure they're going to stay in place I like these these are really cute okay these. I think these are adorable. So there's a lot of different things going on in this pick. I don't know. I think that might be a little bit bigger than I want. But I have this so you could take these little pieces off and have a pop of green. And I'm just showing you these different things just to give you some ideas of what you could do if you wanted it to look a little bit different. So I like these. These have these little tiny ornaments on them. You can take them off. And put them down like this. And just have them at cute random places in your centerpiece. This is a super easy thing to do. It just gives a lot of interest, I think. Just like that. Okay. There we go. Alright, turn it around this way a little bit. Okay, so I'll put a little bit in the front here. Just kind of. And what I will do is I will go back and glue these down. I'm not going to glue these pieces down because. I want to be able to change out the ornaments later. But these little pieces I will. Once I'm sure I know where I want them to go, I will glue those down. The other thing you can do is you can get these little, this, come, this came from Hobby Lobby, and they're just little, little balls, and you can put them right in on your, on your centerpiece. They have red, they have white, they have green. I could put this little hat in. I think that's adorable. I'm not going to use that hat. I am just going to stick with pretty much what I have. Okay, so my hot glue gun I think is hot enough now. So I will just take some of these and just put a little hot glue on them and glue them down there that I just want to kind of place these around in different places I really like how that looks so just kind of glue it on there Just making sure I'm covering any spots that need to be covered. Right there. Okay. I, 
I really like to do something like this because it just kind of gives it a little bit of fun color. Okay. So let me turn this around here. All right. I also have some of these. I think these are really cute. I might put a couple of those up near the base. Mm. All right, so I'm going to keep putting. All right, so I have another one of these. And I'm just going to take these off and put a few more around. So I'm just going to turn this around. So I want to have a good amount all the way around. So, the spots are right here. Okay, right there. Okay, there. Here. So this is the fun part, just putting things around, trying to figure out where you want them to go. Cut that off. Okay. Now you can make yourself these little balls. You see these little balls right here? These are so easy to make. All you do is get a little styrofoam ball and some spray adhesive and you can buy this glitter at any craft store and you can make this yourself. It's really easy to do. And I do that sometimes if I don't have the right thing to put on. I'll just grab my glitter and a few little balls and just make my own. It's really easy to do. Alright. Right now I'm just making sure that I have I have a good amount all the way around and I don't have too much on one side and not enough on another side. Okay. And then I think I'll be done. I'll have to straighten that out. I just really like to make simple, fun, little centerpieces for my table. And my mom likes it. She really likes to decorate, so I like to do these for her. Because I want I think it's important that she feels like she can decorate too. I don't know if I've said this or not before, but we moved my parents in with us a few years ago, so <clears throat> I like for my mom to feel like she can decorate. So I make little things for her to decorate. She really likes. Reese and she likes to decorate for Christmas and so and Halloween and Thanksgiving and any season <laughs> so it kind of works out I just make her stuff and she puts it out okay I think that's it there we go now just kind of play around with these little loose ornaments. I just want to put a few around just so you can't really see down through the glass. And I will play around with the little blue dots to get my ribbon in the perfect right place. And that's about it. Now what I'll do with this candle is I will, I have a much bigger candle so I'll put that in. If I can't find it then I'll just put something down at the bottom and put my candle on top of it. I won't actually have two candles in here. <laughs> I just couldn't find mine. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Because I sure did. I had a lot of fun making this. Uh, oh, let me show you one more thing. Let's see. I'm going to take one of these out. One 
cute thing you can do with your bow is just put something kind of like right in the middle of it like that I like that it just kind of makes it blend into the to the centerpiece even more so I just thought I'd show you that real quick see I have a white one too that's what I love to do I get these picks and then I just pull them apart and I just use different ones like this Oh, I like that. Let's put them both in. That's cute. I don't know. I think I like this one better. There we go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know what you thought. And <clears throat> if you make one like this, please come over to my Facebook page and put a picture on there. I'd love to see what people do. Or you can send me a private message on my Facebook page as well if you'd rather not everybody see it. So make sure to like and subscribe and I will be back again soon with something else. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.